What is up you guys, it's Andrew from Team Stronghold here, checking in for our very first viewers. If you guys do not know what Stronghold is or what we do, we help people who have health, fitness and life goals by developing their ideal selves, their ideal physical condition and their ideal psychological conditions so that they can create a life of abundance, vitality, and happiness. See, fitness in itself is a powerful vehicle that gives us the power to break through our self-imposing, limiting physical and psychological beliefs. And that's what Stronghold is about. We are a fitness company that empowers others to be, do, and have more in life. We see the best in people that they may not see in themselves. We give light to those who feel as if they've been buried in life. To let them know that it's the perspective of being buried, but they're just planted. And all they need to do is nourish and water themselves in order to flourish and grow into any success they desire in life. So guys, the reason why I'm creating this video is I want to give you guys tips on how to be successful with your New Year's resolution goals. See, right now it's January 24th, first, and some of the New Year's resolutioners may be facing their self-imposing beliefs as I speak. See, it's coming up right now to almost three weeks. And the challenge is to push past the three weeks to instill a proactive habit in your life. The one tip I will create for you guys, or the one tip I would want to give you guys, is to create a strong why. Now a why is something that is used quite often in the personal development world. And that why is pretty much your fuel in life. When you're feeling gassed out, all you have to do is remind yourself of your why. A why that will make you cry. A why that will push you forward in any adversity you may face in life because you reminded yourself of why you are doing what you do. See, most successful people in life have a clear, definite purpose, a clear why, and they keep their eyes on it, they keep their heart on it, and they keep their mind on it. All right, next up, set your intention. What is your intention? What is your purpose? Walking into whatever goal you may set. For instance, what is your intention when you first walk into the gym? Set your intention. If you're feeling down and out, if you're feeling mentally drained or physically drained, pick yourself up. Whether that may be through a, a motivational video, which I do myself. Sometimes when I'm feeling mentally drained, I watch motivational videos so that I can pick up my energy and enthusiasm so that when I come in here, I'm already fired up and ready to crush it. All right, guys? So set your intention when you walk in here. What is your intention when you walk into the gym? Some people may come in here and be like, oh, I'm just trying to go through the motions. Now, when you go through the motions, you may not be challenging yourself the way that you should be challenging yourself in order to grow and develop. So set your intention when you walk into the gym to challenge yourself on every level, whether that's psychologically, physically, and spiritually. Sharpen yourself, you know? Show up 110% ready to crush your workout. Number three, set a plan. You know, if getting to a destination is important and having a plan is important, then you should start planning. What does that look like? You know, for most people like myself, I can come here unconsciously and already have a routine worked out. As I'm going, I can set up a routine because, see, I can do it unconsciously because it's been a habit. This is something I love. I love coming in here every single day. I already have a plan in here, just like that. 
set your plan. What does your plan look like for the week? How many days out of the week are you gonna be going to the gym? What body parts are you gonna be working out? What workouts are you going to target? What weights are you going to hit? What challenges are you going to face? Plan that out. Number four. This is a very powerful one, guys. See yourself. See yourself clearly already achieving your goal. Live in the dream, live in the moment. See, Albert Einstein said that the dream is just a future projection of what is to come. Now, if you can hold that vision long enough, it will come to fruition. Hold that dream, guys. See, most people, they don't hold the dream long enough. They face adversity and they allow their emotions to get the best of them. Rather than focusing on the results that you've already created, you will see that you've grown so much. Hold the vision long enough and live in the moment as if you already achieved it. Because remember this, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between a truth and a lie. One last thing guys. Reach out for support. However that may look like. If you are new in an area and you want to really excel, either you're going to hire somebody to coach you or you reach out to somebody you know within your circle that will help you excel in that area. You don't have to do life alone, guys. See, most people are afraid to reach out and ask for support because they feel as if it's a sign of weakness. I'm gonna tell you the truth though, in any field, anybody who displays excellence in that field is willing to help others excel and succeed in that area as well. Because people who succeed truly, they don't think in scarcity, they think in abundance. That there is more than enough in this world to go around for everybody. There's more than enough to create happiness for everybody. So ask for support, however that may look like, guys. Hiring a coach, hiring a personal trainer, or even calling the top performer in your industry. Simple, isn't it? See, it's common sense to a lot of you, but it's not common practice. Now, I purposely made this video specifically talking to the New Year's resolutioners who are aiming to bring their health and fitness to another level in life. Although this video can apply to all areas in your life, whether that's your financial goal, whether that's your personal growth goal, whether that's your business goal. See, if you revert back to keeping a clear, crystallized vision, long enough until it comes to fruition. That's the same thing with business. <laughs> Think about it. See, the reason why most businesses fail is because they cannot keep a clear vision long enough. When they face adversity or they face any type of failure, they give up. See, the beauty of failure is that it is not failure in stopping you. It's just your first attempt in learning. It's all about perspective, guys. See, when you have big dreams in life, you must realize that life will throw massive, big crisis at you. And within this big crisis, when you can persevere and have the mental capacity to push past the adversity, the most beautiful thing happens. It's called experience. And from experience, you break through old habits. And when you break through old habits, you grow, you develop. See, most people want to be millionaires. Most people want to have the fame, the riches. Although, if we were to hand it to you right now, would you be able to handle it? 
would you be able to handle it? That is the question. If you say you want a million dollars and I were to give you a million dollars today, what would you do with it? <laughs> it's shocking, isn't it? If you want to be the best public speaker in the world, if I were to give you a position to public speak in front of everybody, would you be able to handle it right now? See, I want to refer back to Earl Nightingale because he's my favorite. And he says that success is something you attract by the person you become. You guys want to have that ideal body? What does the person with the ideal body look like? What are his beliefs? What are his characteristics? What are his values? Or what is her values, characteristics, or beliefs? See, it's about developing yourself into that ideal person, that ideal self, so that you can create all and attract all of your desires and successes in life. And that, guys, that is what Stronghold is about. My favorite quote, my favorite poem actually, which was in Coach Carter, and what I live by every single day is our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is not our light, but our, it's not our darkness, but our light that most frightens us. You're playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. You are all meant to shine as children do. And as you let your own light shine, you are conscious to give other people permission to do the same. See, we want to empower others so that when they're empowered and they operate at 120% in life, people will start to realize and see that it's possible and that they will start to operate at 120% in life as well. See, the effect you have on one person is not just the effect on one person, it's a rippling effect that may echo through generations. Echo through generations to come, just a simple hello to a stranger may make his day, and he makes somebody else's day. And then from there, he could change someone's life. And when their life is changed, the generation after them their opportunities have changed. And in their generation after that, their opportunity has changed. So be the change that you want to see in the world, plain and simple, guys. I know I've gone off tangent and I could go on for hours. Although remember, when it comes down to creating any success in your life, have a strong why to help fuel. Set your intention, plan, and reach out for help. Keep the vision clear long enough until it comes to fruition. It's your boy Drew signing out. Love each and every one of you and thank you so much for supporting our vision to change and revolutionize this industry, to have the positive impact and proactive impact that a healthy lifestyle should have on people's lives. Take care guys. God bless.